Hey everyone, it's me, the Atheist Gamer, and today I'm going to make a uh, quick video. But first, I want to make a 30 second promotion of Anchorman 2, The Legend Continues. And what this movie is, it's funny. Fucking buy this movie right now. It's on DVD. And don't private this movie, because if you do, I will kick, I will find you and kick you right in the freaking nutsack. Now that I got that away, it's time for me to make my video on common arguments made by feminists. Uh, I, I said it about a few months ago that I would tackle this shit, and now that I have some spare time to do so, I am going to tackle one of the most commonly made arguments made by feminists. And one of the most commonly made arguments that, if, that I've seen <laughs> made by feminists is this statement. If you believe in equality, you are a feminist by definition, or something similar in that notion. And this has been abused by many, many feminists, especially those who just started out on YouTube, who tried to explain what feminism is. Just like this one video that I'm going to make a video response. Well, it's more like a, a wet sweato, a semi-video response, because I'm going to be tackling... Not just her points, but every feminist points from the future that's going to make this argument. I know that this feminist, that these feminists are going to end up using the exact same arguments, and I am here to destroy those arguments once and for all. So, without further ado, this is my semi-video response to this woman. I forgot her name, but... Who cares? Nobody's gonna remember her as soon as I'm done destroying her. But first, let me show you my newest intro first. Ready? 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 Here it comes. Here it comes. Show it. I have voices in my head. They count to me. They understand. They talk to me. Oh, God. I love this intro. Also, this is not going to be a part of Feminazi Fridays. This will be, you know, a part of common arguments made by feminist series and stuff. Why am I delaying? Let's just begin. Hey, uh, so this is something that really gets to me whenever I watch a video that talks about sexism or feminism. There are always these comments that go, I'm not a feminist, I'm a humanist. And that really gets to me. Humanism encompasses feminism. So to quickly remind everyone the definitions of these two words, feminism and humanism. So the definition of feminism is that one sex is not superior to the other or inferior, that they are in fact equal. That is feminism. It's um, if you're part of a feminist movement, that means that you are working towards that goal, ultimately, of equality between the sexes. Humanism encompasses feminism, as far as I understand, because humanism means you believe that everyone is equal regardless of sex, race, what beliefs they have, etc, etc. So, by that definition, please correct me if I'm wrong, feminism, equality between the sexes, Humanism, equality for everyone, regardless of sexuality, age, sex, all that. Doesn't that mean that it in fact encompasses feminism? If you're a humanist, that means by definition you are also a feminist. No, it does not, and I will explain why. First of all, feminism is crap. It's shit. There I said it. Second of all... If we were to use that fucking logic, then by definition, I'm also a Satanist because Satanists don't necessarily believe in God, nor do they believe in the devil. Believe it or not, that it's actually true. You could look it up on Wikipedia, on YouTube. Satanists will deny the fact that they worship the devil and God. They're they're basically almost the exact same thing. The only difference is that Satanists have their own doctrine, their own Bible. Atheists, what do we have? We don't have a Bible. We have Richard Dawkins. We have people with rational thoughts. There's no, you know, holy book or unholy book for, 
you know, for Satanist standards. Um, th th that's basically it. And not to mention that if we were to use, this also applies to Christians as well, because, you know, Mormons are just Christians, just a little bit more extreme. Um, feminism is just basically the female version of the MRA, is it not? So, that logic is pretty fucking stupid. So in other words, just because uh, two groups of people share a common core belief, regardless if it's based on um, class or uh, what shirt you wear or what foods you eat, if you do not follow certain principles or every principle of a certain group, then you are not, by definition, a part of that group. Feminists and humanists have their own freaking standards. They have different standards. Why do you think that feminists are hated so much? Just because of, you know, they're, they're fighting for equality? No, no. It is not because they're fighting for equality. Nor is it the fact that you, are, you have a vagina. No, it's because the things that you say is utterly bullshit. But again, if we were to use that logic... Let me just bring it a little closer. Okay. If we were to use that logic, again then you should be calling yourself a, a, a you should be calling yourself a humanist and a feminist and an MR right uh, a men's right activist and a nudist guess what nudists also believe in equality so you're also part nudist yeah i bet you didn't think of that did you um if you're an atheist then you should be calling yourself a satanist as well because satanists and atheists are basically sharing the same common core belief Right? Um, if you're a Christian, then guess what? You're a Mormon as well, as well as a Catholic and a Jew. Because, you know, you believe that God died for your sin. I mean, not God. Jesus died for your sin. Um, uh, came back from the dead three days later and rose up to the heavens. The only difference is that you share... The, the difference is that you follow different doctrines. I mean, it's it's basically just the same thing, isn't it? I mean, hell, while we're at it, maybe we can go a little bit further, you know. Why why call monkeys uh, monkeys if we can call them humans? Because, you know, technically, um, monkeys are basically humans just de-evolved. I mean, we share the same common DNA, do we not? Uh, uh, what about, you know, squares and rectangles? Shouldn't we also call squares rectangles? Because, you know, they share, uh, 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 they share something in common. They both have four freaking sides, right? So, in, in in other words, your your argument is just flawed. You're, that's that's basically. Do these people not know these definitions? Now, in saying that, I think that the reason why most people, in fact, say this, I'm not a feminist. I'm a humanist. It's because feminism kind of has a bad rap, and it has a lot of baggage connected to that word. When I was younger, a few years back, in my early teen years, I remember kind of being hesitant to call myself a feminist, I wasn't quite sure what it meant, and um, it kind of seemed like they hated men, and I didn't believe in that, I believed that everyone was equal. And when I typed in, define feminism into Google, I couldn't believe my eyes that in fact the definition really just meant equality between the sexes. And from that day on, I was never afraid to call myself a feminist because I knew what that meant. So why aren't you calling yourself a humanist? I, 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 I mean, after all, humanism and feminism is basically just one and the same, right? But no, you're just calling yourself a feminist. But not a humanist. Wonder why? Because you are a hypocrite. A big, fat, fucking hypocrite. By saying you're not a feminist simply because there have been people 
who are very kind of extreme and think that men are evil and you know all these things that really don't represent what feminism is at all that would be the equivalent of a christian individual saying oh i'm not christian anymore because there are a whole lot of christians for example the westboro baptist church who are hating on um, homosexuals and are calling them you know god hates fags and all these negative things and this doesn't mean that christianity is inherently wrong or calling yourself a christian means that you have to associate yourself with those individuals the Christians who often refer to them as not true Christians in fact are referring to this idea of what is kind of the essence or the core of their belief and as far as I understand Christianity you know really looks at you know non non-judgment and love and treating everyone as you would hope that they would treat you and they are all you know positive positive things to believe in and that's kind of where I think there's that kind of misunderstanding with feminism where oh, I don't want to believe in it because there have been these people who are kind of like, you know, messed it up and therefore if I call myself a feminist, clearly I mean that I hate men, which is not true. The core of feminism is that you believe in equality between the sexes, just as if you call yourself a Christian and therefore you, I'm assuming, believe in um, obviously the religious aspects of God and everything, but you do not necessarily hold hatred towards homosexuality even though there are groups of Christians as there might be groups of feminists who hate towards a certain group. You have your point. You know, people shouldn't just leave a, a certain group just because there's a, a bad few eggs in the, in the group. But when it comes to feminism, there's rarely any good eggs. In fact, pretty much 99.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
I'm proud to call myself both things. Um, I do think that there is baggage with the word feminism, and I do think that words, and particularly words that are chosen, have lots of power and meaning. So it is important to choose our words carefully, and I've kind of never liked the fact that feminism has the word femme in it, which, you know, people have often taken to think that women must think that they're superior because it's talking about this movement of women rising. But through these protests and through the decades, it was in fact women rising, but rising to meet men. It wasn't to bring men down, it was so that that way they could both be as equal as each other. But wait a minute. If, you know, if equality means, you know, um, equality between both genders, then why are you only focusing on one side then, huh? Again, I will tell you why you are a big, fat hypocrite. You're not seeing the problems with both genders. You only care about the one side and then that's about it. Hell, I, you know... If I was good going to call myself a feminist, I'd be ashamed to be calling myself a feminist because people like you exist, only caring about the female gender. Once again, hypocrite, 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 hypocrite. I, I, I'm going to keep on saying it. You are a big, fat hypocrite, 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 hypocrite. Maybe humanist is a better word because it doesn't actually refer to a direct race or sex in the definition of it. So people, you know, what they really hear is the hum, like the human. I'm assuming that's where the word comes from, human, and that, you know, humans are all equal. So this was kind of like a rant, but I just wanted to get out there because it really frustrates me. Like, I just, it's like people that understand the, two, the definitions of the words. And I like to think that we should try and stick back to what they really mean. And if maybe you are uncomfortable using that word, why don't these comments say, I don't necessarily like all the baggage that is associated with the word feminist, but I am, but I normally like to call myself a humanist, rather than saying, I'm not a feminist, I'm a humanist. That, it like, does not compute. How can you be not a feminist, but be a humanist? It just doesn't make sense. <laughs> You are a hypocrite, a big fat hypocrite. Why is it 100% necessary now to be calling yourself a, a, a feminist? I mean, if you don't want to associate yourself as a humanist, I mean, as a, a feminist, then obviously you don't want to have, you don't have to. Just as long as you believe in equality, you don't have to associate yourself as a feminist. You don't have to call yourself a feminist. I mean, really, really, is it so goddamn important for people like ourselves who, again, believe in equality, that it's 100% necessary to call ourselves feminists because it's what your, what your definition means. It, it's that's what it means by you. Fuck you, you big fat hypocrite. Again, hypocrite, 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 hypocrite. I'm going to keep on going. Hypocrite, 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 hypocrite. You're not going to hear the end of this. Hypocrite, 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 hypocrite. I believe that we're all equal regardless, but I'm not afraid to call myself a humanist or a feminist. What about yourself? Are you one of those people who really doesn't like the word feminist and what it's kind of like become to represent? I myself like to think that by identifying as a feminist and talking about these things in this manner and being very open and non-judgmental non -judgmental and um, kind of always reinforcing this idea of equality, not that women are better, but it's equality amongst the sexes, that I think that I'm helping redefine what feminism is. Wait, 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 wait. First you said you're not afraid to call yourself a humanist as well as a feminist, but then you identify yourself as a feminist, but not as a humanist. I smell hypocrisy. And trying to redefine feminism has always failed. I mean, look at your video. It's failed. I mean, once again, hypocrisy.
If you're not afraid to be called a humanist by definition, then maybe you should start identifying yourself as a humanist as well as a feminist. But like you said in your video, you define yourself as a feminist, but not as a humanist. <sighs> and like I said before, if you are an atheist, then you also need to identify yourself as a Satanist because you believe in the same common core belief. As if you're a Christian, then you're also a Mormon. You gotta call yourself a Mormon because you follow the same common core belief, a Jew, a uh, Catholic, um, I also believe, uh, Ab Abraham, Abraham, I can't pronounce it, um, because you follow the same God, technically, you gotta start calling rectangles squares, and squares, um, rectangles, uh, we gotta call monkeys humans, and monkey humans monkeys, etc, etc, you get the idea. But in a nutshell, I will say this. If you tell me that by definition I'm a feminist, then you fail greatly because feminists have their own views on what is equality, what, how to achieve equality. This is why there's different groups of feminists. We have the radical feminists, the uh, other different groups of feminists out there. And that's why we, we separate feminism from humanism. Feminism believes, 99.999 of feminists believe in the, in the patriarchy, that they're fighting against this invisible system that's trying to oppress women. Humanists, I don't, I don't know how many humanists out there believe in the patriarchy, but I do know that they're fighting for equality. They point out bullshit regardless on race, gender, or species if we one day have aliens come to our planet. <coughs> And that is why saying that feminism means equality fails fucking big time. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.